I'm going to attempt to explain the scroll method that came out with the IC7610 with uh, 1.30. You have the two ways of looking at the screen, center or fixed. I've never liked fixed. I've always used center. And when you're in the center mode, the band scope behind you moves. The, the uh, line on the frequency stays dead center. Okay, that's what typically uh, I would have done in the past. But now that the scroll mode is available, you can press and hold the center fix. And it goes to scroll C mode. Now you still see the band scope behind it. You have a red vertical bar, which is where you are frequency wise. You can see here that, that we're, we're watching from 14220 to 14320. Um, currently, it looks like maybe 50 kilohertz width on the band scope. What I like about this is now the band scope stays fixed and where you are tuning moves. It makes it much easier for me to find somebody that's on upper side band. You can tune just to the left side of, of the signal that you see in the scope. Uh, and it's easier to tune somebody in. Turn the volume up briefly. And it's easier to go to, to you see a station, for instance. Go ahead and quit talking. Here we go. So you can see that the band scope stays still, and where you're listening is the red bar that's moving through that now. If you go past, for instance, um, the low end is 14220. If you go below that, it, sw it just automatically switches. And now I'm watching 14220 to 14120. Uh, it, it actually moves with you as you scroll. And there's, there's my noise I need to get rid of. That's coming out of my travel trailer. So the one thing I have noticed is if, if, you, if you have your red bar dead center and you change your span, I'm now there's T50K, let me go back to something more reasonable, that's 5K, 10K, one, 50k so it's 50 up and down from the dead center point so when you when you hit the span button it it centers the scroll on the frequency that you set at when you hit the span button let me know if you have any questions